Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal, and I'm your host, Mike Crowley. The winter season is wrapping up for some of us, at least. Chet Messer reports on the wins and losses of Belmont's basketball and hockey teams as their winter seasons come to an end. There is much to cover as the Marauder winter sports season has come to an end. This is Chet Messer reporting. On February 13th, the Arlington girls beat Belmont 56-51 and clinched the regular season league title. Two days later, Belmont visited Arlington and beat them 38-37. Belmont finished the season with a record of seven wins and four losses. In the Middlesex League girls basketball tournament, Belmont was seeded number three to play Watertown seeded number six. The game ended up being played in Watertown because of construction at the Belmont Field House during the vacation week. At halftime, the Belmont girls held a seven-point lead in this opening round tournament game. Watertown scored the first five points in the third period and crept within two. And number 53, Taylor Lambeau, began to assert herself with these two free throws and then a nice move under the basket. A three-point shot by Belmont, she asserted herself again with a nice left-handed move under the hoop. After the team's traded foul shots, Lambeau was on the line. She made her first, but she missed the second one. Maintained possession, and she scored two more points. On Watertown's next possession, she was cutting for the hoop. She avoided a double team and scored once again. Three-point lead and one minute to go, Kiki Cristofori alertly picked off a cross-court pass and drove to the hoop where she was fouled. She made her first foul shot, which was important because it put Belmont up by four. After Watertown scored three points, they needed the ball back, so they fouled intentionally. This put Reese Shapazian on the foul line for two shots, and she made them both. Watertown then needed a three-point shot in order to put the game into overtime. Their effort fell short of the basket, and although they ended up scoring two points, it was meaningless since time ran out. With Belmont's win, they were ticketed for a rematch with Arlington in the semifinals of the girls' tournament. The Spy Ponders scored first and, by the end of the first period, held a 21-7 lead. Suddenly, things changed. Over the second and third periods, and including a minute into the fourth period, Belmont asserted itself, led by Nina Minakosi, number 14. She and her teammates moved Belmont within two points. Having outscored the Arlington team 30 to 18 over the prior 17 minutes of the game, the Arlington team then took charge once again and, with 17 seconds to go in the game, scored their final basket to win 60 to 47 and move on to the finals of the Middlesex tournament. Prior to the tournament, and at their last home game, the Belmont girls' seniors were honored and recognized for their contributions to this very unusual season and the excellent record they achieved. The girls' hockey team had a very promising start and were 3-0-3 after their first six games. The loss of Emma O'Donovan as their top scorer and out for the season had a major impact. During their first six games, Belmont scored 11 goals, but only two goals for the remainder of the season, including the tournament. Their first loss came in their seventh game, and then it was followed by four more losses, and they finished the season at 3-5-3. Three, in the Middlesex League hockey tournament of the top eight teams, 
Belmont was seeded number four and played Winchester, the number five seed. Winchester scored first during the first period and led one to nothing. That score held up through the end of the first period, and in the second period, Winchester scored its second goal. And with about six and a half minutes to go, Winchester scored its third goal. Belmont would not score in the game and ended the season. In boys ice hockey, on February 10, Belmont beat Woburn 3-1 and handed the Tanners their first loss of the season. On February 13 and 15, Arlington beat Belmont twice by almost identical scores. The first time 4-zip, the second time 5-zip. Belmont finished the regular season with a record of 5-3-2. and two. In the Middlesex Boys Hockey Tournament, Belmont's record of 5-3-2 and two gave it a 3-seed against Wakefield, who was the number 6 seed. This game was an exciting game. The score was tied 1-1 one one through the regulation play, and they moved to overtime. In high school overtime hockey, each team has three offensive players on the ice. You should note on the far side, a Belmont player heads to the bench. In number four, Cam Fici comes streaking across, picks up the puck, and heads down the right-hand side towards the Wakefield goal. Passes to the center to Marty Rowan, who scores the goal, and Belmont wins 2-1 to one and advances to the semifinals. Belmont and Arlington played to a 0-0 tie through regulation and won overtime. The second overtime is a one-on-one situation between an offensive player and the goalie. Arlington fails to score on their first attempt. Now it is Belmont's turn to take a shot at a goal. Unfortunately for Belmont, the goalie was up to the task. Now Arlington takes its second turn at a one-on-one situation and scores. Belmont must now score, otherwise Arlington wins one to nothing. Ben Fici is up to the task and ties the score at one apiece. Arlington now has a third opportunity and hopes to jump off to a 2-1 to one lead. The Belmont goalie foils the shot and the score remains at one apiece. Enter number four, Cam Fiji, who skates towards the goalie and flips it by him and Belmont wins 2-1 to one and advances to the final game of the Middlesex Tournament. The finals are scheduled between the Marauders and the Winchester Sachems to be held on Saturday, February 20. But suddenly, COVID reappears. An Arlington player had tested positive after the game against Belmont, requiring Belmont's team to quarantine. Thus, for the second time in two years, the pandemic has eliminated the championship game for the Belmont Marauders.